All right, to get started on the rep and prototyping of your favorite cube puzzle piece, go ahead and pick your favorite piece. So you have five or six and pick your favorite. So I'm, I'm going to assume that this right here is my favorite piece that I created. Now what I'm going to do to this piece is I'm going to decide where the strongest part of it is because we're going to add a little loop to it so we can attach it to a keychain. So I'm going to say down under here might be the strongest part of mine. And for the loop, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a circle and we're also going to need a line to rotate that circle. I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees. So I'm going to take a sketch. I'm going to put the sketch on this bottom surface. And I'm going to go to circle. Now, if we make the circle too small, it's going to be really weak. Uh, but if we make it too big, there won't be a big enough hole to actually run a wire through. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a dimension of about a quarter of an inch. And so it looks like that. <coughs> And then I'm going to also dimension it, if you remember this is three, qu three quarters of an inch wide, so if I do half of that, it would be three eighths, so I'll do a three eighths off of that side, and I'll do three eighths off of this side also. And now that circle is perfectly centered, and I'm going to go to this line right here. Now I'm going to, it works for me, it, it may not work for your part because you'll have different, you need to put a line on, on your sketch somewhere, and you're going to revolve it around that. So I've got that line. Now I'm going to go up to Features, and I'm going to do Revolved, Off Space, <clears throat> and I'm going to go Selected Contours, and I'm going to select my circle. And if you look right now, it's doing a 360 degree revolve, and it's also doing the outside of it, not the inside. So to get rid of that, I'm going to unclick Thin Feature, which allows it just to revolve the circle, but I don't want it to do full 360 degrees. I want it to do 180 degrees. <clears throat> And now it's doing it the wrong way. It's doing it this way. I want it to be on the outside. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to switch the direction, reverse direction. And now I've got a 180 degree loop. And I'm going to hit OK. And that's going to be the loop that I'm going to wrap a prototype. So that is step one of this process. So now you're going to want to save that. So we'll go File, Save As. And I'm just going to put mine on my desktop. And obviously, you'll save yours uh, in your actual folder. So, and we're going to save it. <clears throat> you might want to save it once as the part file. So go ahead and do that. I'm just going to call it Loop. You call it whatever you want, or it could be Fob. Like, fob loop or loop fob, whatever, and I'm going to hit save. But that's not the file I'm actually going to use. That's just in case I need to make any modifications. Now I'm going to go back and save it again, and this is the file that we'll actually use to produce what we need for the rapid prototyper. We need to change that file type to what's called an STL, and that stands for stereolithography, which is a type of rapid prototyping. So you want to save it as a .stl file and just hit save again. And it says this, and we'll just say sure. And that is what we're actually going to use next.